gluten. I love gluten. Hey y'all, it's your girl Haley. I'm the girl behind Brewing Happiness, which is a health and happiness website with recipes dedicated to all definitions of health. Today we are here and we are going to be making some bread, some rye bread specifically. Um, we're making a seeded rye bread today just to make it a little bit healthier and a little bit more interesting. I know that for a long time in my life, I was super intimidated by the idea of making bread at home, so I literally never did it. Um, and about a year ago, I decided to take on doing bread at home, and I realized it's way easier than you think it is, and it's almost foolproof. It takes a little bit of time, um, a little bit of patience, but truthfully it doesn't take a lot of skill. So if you've been scared to make bread, I promise by the end of this, we can relieve those fears. This um, recipe is sponsored by Bob's Red Mill. I love their products. I probably would use them with or without the sponsorship, but I'm very happy to be partnering with them today. So today we're gonna to be using their um, artisan bread flour and also their dark dry flour. And this is what's gonna make it rye bread. And let's just go ahead and dive right into making it. All right, first thing we need is one cup of packed dry flour and then put it into a medium or large size bowl. And then we're gonna do one and a half cups of packed bread flour. We're gonna end up using another half cup of bread flour, but just a little bit later, so you don't wanna put your bread flour away yet. So and then to this medium sized bowl, we're gonna add the rest of our dry ingredients, which is three tablespoons of coconut sugar, you could use granulated sugar, cane sugar, if you wanted to. Um, I just like coconut sugar because it's lower on the GI scale. You're going to add a teaspoon of sea salt, one and a half teaspoons of caraway seeds. If you like a more intense caraway flavor to your rye and you already know that, go ahead and add something like two teaspoons, even up to a tablespoon. I like just a very light um, caraway seed flavor to my rye bread, so one and a half teaspoons is about perfect for me. Um, and then we're going to add two teaspoons of active dry yeast. And then finally, we're going to add our seeds, which are sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. So to the um, bowl, we're just going to add two tablespoons of each of those. So these are um, raw sunflower seeds. You don't want to use um, like roasted or salted because they're going to bake more and so if you use roasted and salted, they'll sort of, sort of burn. Then also raw pumpkin seeds. These just add some nice texture and flavor. If you don't want that, you can leave it out. Okay, so from here we just mix up our dry ingredients with a whisk. We're just whisking everything just until um, it's well combined. From here we're going to add our wet ingredients, which is one and a fourth cup of warm water. You want it to be warm so that it activates the yeast. And then a fourth a cup of some sort of flavorless oil. This is grapeseed oil, you could use avocado oil, something like that. And then from here we're just going to mix this up with a spatula. This is going to make a wet, shaggy dough up in here. Here. And now we're going to add a half a cup of bread flour. You don't have to pack it, just a generally a half a cup of bread flour close to that to our surface and really generously uh, flour our surface. And now you can just dump this dough right into the center of this. Okay, and now kneading is really just taking dough and folding it over itself. You can take some flour and sprinkle it on the top. And this is going to build up the gluten. Really all you're doing is pushing down, pulling back, pushing down, pulling back, and you can switch sides. You just kind of want to make sure that you're turning the dough sort of inside out um, so you're getting all parts of it. All right. So from here, you'll just form it into a little ball. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this um, into an oiled bowl. I'm just using the same one. I cleaned it out a little bit. And then we're just gonna cover this with plastic wrap for 
two hours. We're gonna let it rise. It'll about double in size. We'll get nice and bubbly. The yeast will activate. Um, and then we'll move on to step two. So after about um, two hours, this is what he looks like. He has puffed up, it's nice and big, um, definitely doubled in size. And so now what you're gonna do, this is a fun part, is you want to just kind of punch into this guy. Um, we're gonna knead him a little bit more. Again, fold it into a ball. I'm gonna lay it on this plastic wrap. Okay, so we can just use the same bowl and we just want to um, cover it with some parchment paper. This parchment paper will eventually transfer into the dish that you're baking um, your bread in. So you want to give it some extra room, it'll help you lift the bread up. You want to sprinkle the bottom of your parchment paper with just some um, cornmeal. This will again coat the bottom of your bread, create that nice hard crust. Um, and then from here, we're going to add some more of these raw sunflower seeds and raw pumpkin seeds to the top of the bread. Just kind of smush them into the top. Really? <laughs> some of these will fall off, but that's okay. Great. And then from here, transfer it straight into your parchment paper. You can sprinkle the top with just a little bit of cornmeal. And then we're going to take a cloth towel and cover this for another hour. Our second rice has been rising for about 30 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 450. And I'm baking this bread inside of a Dutch oven. You don't have to do this in here, but um, it creates a really nice crust to it. Um, I really like the way that this bakes. You could also just do this in a regular pan, a loaf pan, but if you're doing it in a Dutch oven, actually really in any pan that you're doing it in, I like to put this in the oven while it preheats. So for the next 30 minutes, this is gonna heat alongside the oven. Okay, another 30 minutes has passed. This is really nice and hot. So what we're gonna do is uncover this guy. You can see that he's gotten um, nice and big, about doubled in size. And I'm gonna transfer him into the Dutch oven put the lid on and bake him, him. I don't know why it's a him, but it is. Uh, we're gonna bake this loaf for 30 minutes with the lid on. Um, if you don't have a lid, that's fine. Um, like if you're baking in a loaf pan or something, that's fine, just bake it in the loaf pan. Um, if you do have a Dutch oven, bake it with the lid on for 30 minutes and then remove the lid for the last 15 to 20 minutes. This is why the parchment comes in handy makes it really nice and easy to transition. Slip it right in there. So I'll see you when this bread is done. All right, 45 minutes later and we have bread. So exciting. So this makes, parchment paper makes it really easy. Just take your bread right on out. Look at how beautiful. So now the really tough part about this bread is that you have to let it cool all the way before you slice into it. I know warm bread is super, super tempting, but um, because of the denseness of the rye flour, if you slice into it too early, the inside will be a little bit gummier than you want it to be, so you have to let it cool. So here is another batch of this that I made. You can see it's like the perfect sandwich bread texture, and it's got this nice, you can hear it, crispy outside. It's so delicious, really soft on the inside, and then you get every you know bite or so you get some seeds in it it's got that nice caraway flavor but not too overpowering so i hope this showed you that bread is not scary it just takes some time and some patience um but you can definitely make this at home i don't know this is all that i have for you it's bread it's delicious i don't know who doesn't like bread very excited about it what else do i have to say i don't know live your life stay happy stay healthy and i'll see you soon Bye. I'm gonna eat some carbs now.